the king did not long outlive his discreditable endorsement of such brutality. His death early in 1910, coupled with a general election, which returned to power a parliament hung between the liberals and conservatives, created a new mood of placation between the suffragettes and the government. Mrs. Pankhurst declared a truce and MPs from all parties formed the Conciliation Committee for Women's Suffrage. Under their auspices, a conciliation bill was introduced before the House by D.J. Shackleton. At its second reading, it was passed by a majority of 109, bigger than given to the budget. The government then exercised its right of veto. There followed a violent demonstration on what became known as Black Friday. The Vice President of the Royal College of Surgeons was so shocked by what he witnessed that he felt compelled to write to the newspapers. The women were treated with the greatest brutality. They were pushed about in all directions and thrown down by the police. Their arms were twisted until they were almost broken. Their thumbs were forcibly bent back, and they were tortured in other unnameless ways that make one feel sick at the sight. These things were done by the police. As this behaviour is entirely a new departure, it would be interesting to know who issued the instructions that they were to act with such brutality.